auditions on tape. Some people say, gosh, this is pretty easy, simple stuff. I've seen a lot of videos on that and it seems easy enough. For other actors, it is the bane of their existence. Um, auditions on tape can be difficult, they can be daunting, uh, they can be uh, sort of this so overwhelming to some to get their light, their sound, and everything right, a reader, all the stuff that uh, it just seems overwhelming and then they put it off and put it off and put it off until it's too late. Uh, and then they either don't turn it in on time or they turn it in late or they turn it in, uh, they turn in something that's less than their best work, which is a mistake. So today we're gonna be going through an audition on tape. I had an audition for uh, a soap opera. Um, so forgive the writing because the writing in a soap opera is, uh, it's pretty bad. It's pretty bad. Uh, but I've done this quite a bit. I've been on several soap operas. I've done over 80 television shows and films, uh, 110 television commercials. Those are my credentials. Check me out on IMDb. Uh, I also have uh, private coaching that I do on danwarnermedia.com. Uh, it's all in the description below. Uh, I do private coaching and uh, you know I got this audition through my agent and I know some of you don't have an agent and if you need an agent I will be doing a how to get an agent video here very soon but in the description again I've got on my website I've got a section called how to get an agent and it's wildly helpful for you to get an agent and book more work and get the phone to ring and have someone else in your corner calling and doing things uh, to help your career move forward. But today let's talk about auditions on tape. I just did one. It's for a soap opera. Uh, it's for a uh, guest star recurring role. So that means three episodes or five episodes or ten episodes or it could mean uh, my friend Shane Johnson who got a similar audition at one point for the show Power on Stars, uh, cut to three years later and he's a series regular on the spinoff and he was a series regular after a while on the regular show. There's no such thing as small auditions. They're mostly 95% still uh, self-submissions that you have to record yourself and turn in and people are still struggling with that. So what I like to do is not tell you how to do it. I wanna show you how to do it. Um, I like to show uh, people that uh, subscribe to my channel, and by the way, if you have not subscribed to my channel, I recommend you do. Um, but uh, I, I like to show people how to do things instead of just like, well, here's what you do. And it's, for me, I don't want opinion and conjecture and all those other things. There's too many teachers out there or, or teachers out there that are trying to tell young actors uh, how to do stuff and they, they don't have a lot of experience. And so uh, I, I don't want to send you the wrong direction. So I like to show you what I do. And so I'm going to show you exactly what I do. And then I'm going to show you the exact tape that or the exact recording i keep calling it a tape they call it self-tape i'm going to show you what i submitted so uh, i'm going to continue to give you this information that i'm doing it's going to cut your learning curve down by a lot self-tape submissions guest star recurring role here we go Hi, my name is Dan Warner. I'm six foot one. I'm based out of Los Angeles, California. A little warning that you were coming in would have been nice. You almost knocked me over. Well, next time I'll call out, hey, it's Jason, your favorite guard. Don't flatter yourself. Someone's in a good mood this morning. You're late and empty handed. 
Where's my breakfast? You don't get breakfast today. Why not? I've been locked in this room for months. Obviously, your job is to keep me alive. You don't get breakfast today because you've been a bad girl. What are you talking about? My phone. Sorry? My burner phone that you stole from me. Did a little inventory last night and one's missing. Where's it at? I don't know what you're talking about. Well, I think you do, and if you don't hand it over, I'm going to do a lot worse than deprive you of food. Fine. You know, it's no good to you anyway. It's dead. Well, let's revive it, shall we? Who'd you call last night? My grandma. Hmm. And you're still here? Now, she must not give a crap about you. For your information, she was desperate to get to me. She's in trouble herself. <laughs> okay. Oh, you have a grandma, don't you, Jason? Oh, I love my Grammy, yeah. My yeah. Grammy is being held prisoner. Why didn't she call the cops? She's got a phone. The animal who's holding her took it away. Please, Jason, let me help her. Yeah, that would be a no. I swear to God, if anything happens to her, I will make you pay. Yell all you want. Nobody's going to hear you. Let's see who you were calling last night. You don't have to check. I'll tell you. First you called Grandma. Oh, and then, <laughs> then you called your ex-husband. <laughs> oh, my God. That relationship blew up in your face years ago. How would you know anything about my relationship? Well, I read the tabloids, and Chad Damara threw you out on your ass after you cheated on him. I'm, he's never going to help you. I'm sure he hates your guts. That story was a huge exaggeration. Yeah. Plus, it is ancient history. Of course, he had a hard time with my lapse in judgment. Oh, lapse in judgment. You slept with some other dude behind his back. Like I said... Ancient history. Yeah. I am even friends with his wife, for your information. Hmm. And if they knew I was in trouble, they'd come running. Thought you said you called? I did. Oh. And your stupid phone died right after he picked up. If not for that, Chad and Abigail would be breaking down that door right now. Yeah, I don't think so. You know, they'd pay a small fortune to get me out of here. Yeah, I'd pay a small fortune to get you to shut up. You could be rich by tonight. No, dummy. I know what side my bread's buttered on. So. Don't talk about food. I'm starving. You know how grouchy I get when I'm hungry? Yeah, like the green blob in Ghostbusters? Exactly. Yeah. So can you please get me my breakfast now? Fine. Taking this with me. Okay, so that's from beginning to end. Um, I had a reader. The reader was in person. It wasn't a Zoom reader. It was a, a buddy of mine. It was an actor friend of mine from New York who was visiting. He was in town, and I put him to, I put him to work. Um, find someone you like. Find someone you trust. Find someone who's a good reader. doesn't have to be an actor. It'd be great if it was. doesn't have to be because uh, you can teach them and coach them through the, through the reading process. You just want someone who's going to deliver the lines. Um, as you saw, the dialogue, I apologize, not great. So just be a real person in a real place having a real experience. That's my go-to for any audition. I've said it before. I'll say it again. So that's really what you want to do. You want to uh, memorize the dialogue. You want to get, turn it in as, as, as soon as you can. But here's the other thing. You don't want to turn in a submission as quickly as you can and, and, and send them stuff that's not great. Stuff that you're not prepared, you're, you're flubbing the lines or you're not really great. You know, uh, there's too much, too much going on. Be ready when you submit your audition on tape. Don't just send them something because you want to be the first one in. Um, it's a fine line, but you have, to, you have to go between getting it in early uh, and quality. So you've got to find your reader and all that. And I have... Other tapes that uh, are here uh, on YouTube about uh, readers and finding a reader and uh, no reader hacks and other auditions on tape. 
And listen, if you become a student of your craft, what's gonna end up happening is you're gonna get better and better and better. Some of these things you may know, some of the stuff that you saw that I showed you go, yeah, you already told me that because I've watched all your videos. But for those of you who haven't watched all my videos, then there's a lot of stuff out there. Um, I've got 50 or 60 videos on how to act, how to, you know, tips on uh, auditions, you know, slating, everything. So peruse through my stuff, go to danwarnermedia.com, learn how to get an, figure out how to get an agent. I've got a whole section there on how to get an agent. Um, there's a section on secrets of self-tape success. If you sign up for that, it's not sign up, you put your email in and that uh, gives you a PDF that's a really nice uh, uh, information on self-tape success on different things that casting directors are looking for and how to, how to have a really great self-tape. Um, all of that helps, all that stuff's important. Um, so yeah, go to, go to my website, it's free, it's a PDF, it's a downloadable PDF and peruse through it and see what you think. Great information to keep you moving and keep your ball moving forward and, and uh, to make you a better actor. I'm here to make you a better actor. So if you like this video, hit the like button down below, subscribe, tell your friends, leave me questions or uh, comments in the comment question section. And tune in every week because, man, I'm going to be up in my game. Uh, my editing's getting better. Uh, I've got a little more time on my hands uh, because COVID is still happening, apparently. It's not, not going away. We don't wear masks, but... You know, things are slowly getting back to normal. And uh, the key word there is slowly. But uh, listen, it's all going to work out. You just got to keep moving forward and uh, stick around and great things happen. I am living proof that great things happen if you stick around. All right. Hi, my name is Dan Warner. I'm six foot one. I'm based out of Los Angeles, California. A little warning that you were coming in would have been nice. You almost knocked me over. Oh, next time I'll call out, hey, it's Jason, your favorite guard. Don't flatter yourself. Someone's in a good mood this morning. You're late and empty-handed. Where's my breakfast? You don't get breakfast today. Why not? I've been locked in this room for months. Obviously, your job is to keep me alive. You don't get breakfast today because you've been a bad girl. What are you talking about? My phone. Sorry? My burner phone that you stole from me, did a little inventory last night, and one's missing. Where's it at? I don't know what you're talking about. Well, I think you do, and if you don't hand it over, I'm gonna do a lot worse than deprive you of food. Fine. You know, it's no good to you anyway, it's dead. Well, let's revive it, shall we? Who'd you call last night? My grandma. Hmm. And you're still here? Well, she must not give a crap about you. For your information, she was desperate to get to me. She's in trouble herself. <laughs> okay. Oh, you have a grandma, don't you, Jason? Oh, I love my Grammy, yeah. My yeah. Grammy is being held prisoner. Why didn't she call the cops? She's got a phone. The animal who's holding her took it away. Please, Jason, let me help her. Yeah, that would be a no. I swear to God, if anything happens to her, I will make you pay. Yell all you want. Nobody's going to hear you. Let's see who you were calling last night. You don't have to check. I'll tell you. First you called Grandma. Oh, and then, <laughs> then you called your ex-husband. <laughs> Oh my God, that relationship blew up in your face years ago. How would you know anything about my relationship? Well, I read the tabloids and Chad Damara threw you out on your ass after you cheated on him. I'm, he's never gonna help you. I'm sure he hates your guts. That story was a huge exaggeration. Yeah. Plus, it is ancient history. Of course, he had a hard time with my lapse in judgment. Oh, lapse in judgment. You slept with some other dude behind his back. Like I said, ancient history. Yeah. Well, I am even friends with his wife, for your information. Mm -hmm. And if they knew I was in trouble, they'd come running. 
thought you said you called. I did. Oh. And your stupid phone died right after he picked up. If not for that, Chad and Abigail would be breaking down that door right now. Yeah, I don't think so. You know, they pay a small fortune to get me out of here. Yeah, I'd pay a small fortune to get you to shut up. You could be rich by tonight. I'm no dummy. I know what side my bread's buttered on. So. Don't talk about food. I'm starving. You know how grouchy I get when I'm hungry? Yeah, like the green blob in Ghostbusters? Exactly. Yeah. So can you please get me my breakfast now? Fine. Taking this with me. All right. So there you have it. And uh, ha, see you next week.